Listen to me, you're not a procrastinator. You're just underestimating your own effort. You see, the only reason you procrastinate is because your mind has associated that task you're trying to accomplish with stress. You're convinced you need to put in a ton of effort to complete that task, so you distract yourself. You mindlessly scroll through your phone, sleep, play games, and binge eat. So no, the problem isn't the task or its level of difficulty. Your perception is the problem. It leads to avoidance. That's why you procrastinate. So how do you break this habit? How do you kill procrastination? By understanding that procrastination is a habit. It has three components, a trigger, a pattern, and a reward. Trigger. Stress diminishes your sense of self-efficacy, which is the belief in one's ability to successfully complete tasks. As a result, you may put off that task or avoid it because it seems mentally demanding. This stress is formed either due continuous work and a no reward routine, or thinking that you need to exert great effort to accomplish a task. Now I know there are people out there that say to get rid of procrastination, you need to keep working and keep hustling. But when you constantly work and don't give yourself a scheduled break, your body releases stress hormones like cortisol that impact the brain and lead to chronic fatigue. This fatigue erects a mental barrier around starting and or finishing a task. When you're fatigued, your brain lacks the activation energy that's needed to execute the task, which leads to increased stress. 95% of people tend to avoid work in favor of something they think would be a lot easier, like watching TikTok or YouTube videos. You may never rid your life of stress, but you can definitely change the pattern of behavior that leads to task avoidance. Which brings me to my next point, pattern. Every time you stress out and procrastinate, you exhibit a pattern of behavior. For instance, you may take a short break from work, which is a good thing, but many people turn these short breaks into long bouts of instant gratification. By the time they drag themselves back to work, hours have passed. When they realize how much time has passed, they feel guilty and start blaming themselves. This habit is unhealthy and unproductive and it needs to go. So I need you to pause this video right now, figure out your pattern of avoidance, and then press play for the next part. Reward. When you're stressed, and avoiding work, you do things that relieve your stress to make you feel better. Scrolling through TikTok or Instagram reels offer a sense of social connection, which can trigger the release of dopamine, a neurotransmitter associated with pleasure and reward. To be honest, I don't fully blame you. We're surrounded by distractions and information that keeps updating every minute, so it's easy to lose track of time. Every new post, notification, or like can provide a small dopamine hit, creating a sense of pleasure and satisfaction. That's what actually distracts you from what you're supposed to be doing. Now that we've identified procrastination's three components, I'll discuss scientifically proven ways that you can break your habit of procrastinating to maximize productivity. Journaling. The first thing you need to do to break your habit of procrastination is to acknowledge it. The moment you find yourself exhibiting your pattern of delaying a task, then start journaling. Write down the points that make you delay the tasks. You can also write down how you feel about not trying to finish the task. Once you've written the points, you're less inclined to be task avoidant. Yes, research suggests that when you're aware of your backlogs, your body adjusts its fight or flight response, which eventually decreases procrastination. Resistance. Build your willpower. Yeah, it's easier said than done, but once you acknowledge your backlogs and fix them consistently, your power will increase. Research says that when you do that, you'll reawaken your prefrontal cortex. Your prefrontal cortex is the part of your brain that controls your behaviors and impulses. Once your prefrontal cortex is awake, you need to get to work. Take the first step. You don't have to think about the end result. Just open up your laptop and start working, or reading, or cleaning. Whatever task or work you're delaying or avoiding, do it. Trust me, say no to your impulse by using your willpower. Keep at that task non-stop for 15 to 20 minutes. After that, you won't want to stop. This step-by-step -step process will level up your focus and curb task avoidant behavior. While you're doing that, I want to share several other very effective tips that will make the process super easy. Environment. A positive environment leads to a sharper mindset. If you're surrounded by people who bring you down or are procrastinators themselves or don't have their priorities in check, I'm sorry, but you're probably not going to beat procrastination. Your mind needs a cleaner environment. If it's surrounded by negative, lazy energy, it will never respond to the positive choices you're about to make. 
The brain has limited space. If you don't clear out the garbage, it won't retain the information that you feed it. Even when you're on phone scrolling endlessly through social media, just like people that surround you, the content that you consume will influence the person you become in the long run. The Pomodoro Technique is also an easy way to beat procrastination. It's a reward-based system. All you need is a timer and a to-do list to track all the tasks you have to complete for the day. Set your timer to 25 minutes and focus on a single task on your list until the timer rings. When your first session ends, mark it off your list and record how far you got with the task. Then, reward yourself with a five minute break. After four tasks, take a more restorative 15 to 30 minute break. It's the same with the two minute rule. For any task you can do for two minutes today, don't delay it any further. Just do it now. Visualization. The visualization technique helps you map out your day like Google Maps, except for tasks. I'm sure many of you have avoided doing certain things that are good for you, like going to the gym or starting your investment journey, because you view them as big, important tasks. That's where visualization comes in. When you break a major task into smaller parts and map it out over time, it will help you to visualize the journey. For example, if you're putting off going to the gym, then first go to Pinterest and get some inspiration for the body type you want to achieve. Then write down the initial steps you need to take that will take you closer to achieving that goal. Step one, find a gym near you. Step two, decide the time that you'll go to the gym that best fits your current schedule and lifestyle. Step three, do research on the routine that you'll need to follow. And step four, go consistently for two weeks. That's your initial map right there. This breaks down a task into smaller, actionable tasks. You can further modify this map as needed to reach different goals. Time blocking. Procrastinators wait until the last possible moment to initiate and complete tasks. Why? Because procrastination has a limit in our heads. We know we can't delay a task much longer and there's a limit to how much we can procrastinate. That's where time blocking comes in handy. Try to set deadlines for every task throughout your day. Block the time you have for each task. Finish the task before the deadline. Now, if you did the visualization before, you'll see time blocking will only make you more productive. Use these tips to cut procrastination by at least 85%. I wanna know how these tips helped you. Drop a comment below. In the meantime, check out these other videos.